Okay, so this is a, an old, slightly old talk, but I was conscious of uh, Pete's blood pressure when he was asking for people for um, lightning talk. Um, this is really, my thinking for not for sale, it's, it's um, my thinking is not for sale, is inspired by some of the concerns about the sustainable OSS open software development. Um, but uh, first, a little bit about me. I've been programming since for a job since 1979. My God, this is me in 1980. Warning, 43 years of this stuff turns that hair into this hair <laughs> and less on top. Notice the um, long collar. Yeah, and the glasses. <laughs> yes, my God, things have changed. Um, I also have the dubious pleasure of having danced Argentine tango with John here in 2016 <laughs> at this very conference. John, it was a beautiful experience. Thank you. <laughs> um, also, uh, I'd like to thank Hannah for her talk earlier because uh, as a single... Uh, as a the only male dance teacher in a team of women, uh, I understand what it's like to be the only guy in the room, uh, especially when they start talking about teaching burlesque. And you, you really, I, I have, and there are some things in terms of teaching which I can't say, but they can. <laughs> okay. However, coming on to the actual. Thing, on the thing. I want to really put out an idea, get a thought form out there, uh, because I think we have a bit of cognitive bias about what's going on here. Uh, and I'm concerned about the way uh, there's a lot of transactional thinking in life these days. We think we pay money, we can get something for it. Uh, and so the, what I'm talking about here is what happens when I'm coding, okay? Uh, I get paid to sit in front of a computer, okay? And then I do thinking, I come up with a product. So it makes us think that we can actually be paid for thinking. But I'm only getting paid for body time in front of the computer, okay? I'm not, I'm deciding to think in a certain way. You know, the quality of the product depends on the quality of my thinking. And I choose how to think. You cannot actually pay me to think, okay? In a way, it's priceless because it's not a, I'm not saying that as a rant, I'm not saying it as a manifesto. For me, it's a sort of fact. You, you literally can't put a, a price on, on how I'm thinking. I gift my thinking back. So you're paying me body time to be in front of a machine, but I'm actually gifting my thought. Now, so there, there's, a, there's a gap here. I'm gifting my thinking. That means there's a gap between the money and the product. What does that mean then for OSS, for you know, uh, open source software? It means that just because someone donates 30,000 euros, 30,000 dollars, 30,000 quid to uh, open source development, that they get something out of the end. You, putting the money in does not connect causally to a product. And this is the stressor, I think, in our domain. This, uh, Robert Glass talked about this in terms of his facts and fallacies of software development. Uh, it's not just with software, obviously. It's with, can be with education, can be with medicine. But I think it's quite noticeable here in software. So all I'm wanting to do is, can we stop the transactional thinking? Can we realize that there's a gap where you actually can't pay for this stuff? Um, and as a one final uh, point is that the, the Princeton Institute of Advanced Study, which has come up with the von Neumann architecture, that was funded from a $5 million donation by a brother and sister team who had a local department store. Von Neumann didn't patent this because he knew there would be you spend more time transferring the data than actually processing the data, which sounds familiar. So, just I just want to, as I say, I just want to people just take that thought on that you actually can't be paid to think. You're making a decision to do it. I'm going to stop there. Anyway, thank you very much indeed.